Swans, seen by many as creatures of outstanding beauty, these quintessentially English birds parade our stately manners and swim in our finest rivers. Protected by the Queen, many see them as national treasures. Each year, over 3,000 people in the UK alone are freshly diagnosed with a life ruining disease, swanophobia. Meet Joe. Joe was diagnosed with swanophobia six years ago. I spent a few days with Joe in an attempt to understand more about the socially crippling illness. Joe lives in a social services run house for outpatients. On my first visit to the house, Joe is practicing a ritual called tomato raving, where he dances to loud disco music in front of a tomato poster. Joe told me before the shoot that this eased his phobias and helped to relax him. The following day, I went on a walk with Joe and two of his friends. Joe met his friends whilst in a youth offending unit for throwing a swan off a motorway bridge. The storm in the park was going well until Joe accused a big duck of dissing his mother. Fucking duck! It's the big duck! Leave it! It's the big duck! Fucking swan! The fucking. Fuck off, yeah! Leave it! Come on, man! I wanted to talk to Joe in front of his friends in an attempt to get him to open up more. I was also interested in their opinions on Joe's condition. I'd like to ask you a, a few sensitive questions um, now, they're mainly swan related. Is that, is that okay with you? Depends what they are. So what's your name? Jeff. Uh, how long have you known Joe for? Um, how long have you known Joe for? Just a couple of years, like. Where do you feel your hatred for swans comes from? You can't ask that. Can't ask that? No. Okay. What do you think of his, uh, swan hatred? Fucking mad, man. This boy was too stupid to talk. Did you have any bad incidents with swans yeah, when no, you were... I can't ask that. Ask some real questions. Um, real questions? Yeah. Ooh. Um... Fucking kicked a swan in the leg once. That, uh, yeah. Aye. Right. Did, right. did he go down for that? Aye. Fucking six months. Six months. Slammer. Slammer. Aye. Did he get a hefty, hefty fine? Aye. Thirty-five pounds. So where do you think your hatred from swans came from? You can't ask that. You can't ask that. Okay. Um, I told you. Where did you get your hat from? Where did you get your hat from? Skeggy. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good time in Skeggy. It's all right. Is it? Why is it all right? There get swans in the sea. Earlier in the day, I'd have visited a park from which Joe was banned. Joe was banned from the park from a vicious machete attack on a swan a few years back. I intended on talking to the chief ranger of the park, but instead they sent two young rangers who were traumatised by Joe's horrific attacks. How long ago was it when Joe got his asbo from the park? Two, two years, years ago. Two years. We've, we haven't seen him since. He, he cut some of the swans, didn't he? He injured, he injured them using a blade. Was it some form of machete, I believe? Oh, horrific, it horrific. Yeah. It took them quite a while to clear the blood out of the uh, the lake, which you can just see in the shot there. The kids were the kids distraught. distraught. It's just that's all about the kids, really, isn't it? Yeah. If I helped Joe and uh, got over swanophobia, would he be allowed back in the park, perhaps? 
maybe one day. Maybe one day, but you'd have to see some solid evidence, yeah, yeah. such as him maybe kissing someone. Coming close yeah. to them. Coming close to someone without a gun. Oh, yeah. No weapons. No weapons. And Whilst Joe was preparing for the evening's tomato rave upstairs, I had a swan mug in his cupboard in order to film his reaction. Off camera, Joe told me that if there's one thing he hated more than swans, it was swan related drinking vessels. I was nervous. This could go horribly wrong. No cup of tea? Yeah, yeah, please. Yes, please. That's very nice, Joe. Fuck is that? It's one fucking joke. I, I, I did. That was what the fuck was that? that? Wasn't my it's not fucking it time. It it's not funny. I didn't put fucking that Get the fuck out. Joe, I'm sorry. Fuck off. Joe. Can you fucking Joe, say don't break the camera. Come on. I'm sorry. Got it. So you don't fuck off. Joe threw us out of the house and smashed our equipment, shouting piss off you swan loving pricks as he slammed the door. The following morning, we got a disturbing call from Joe's carer. Joe had disappeared. He'd left a note claiming that today will be the apocalypse for swans. My trap had angered Joe. I felt responsible and I had to find him. I was scared up. I think he must be here somewhere. Quick, come on, we need to find him. Come on, get out. Quick. In there somewhere, come on. Give me the camera, come on. Let's go. Right. Jesus Christ. Did you see him anywhere? No. We've got, someone's gonna get hurt. I, oh God. And it'll either be Joe or a swan. Right. I think I've seen him in the distance. Yeah, he's there. There he is. He's there. He's there. Just hide behind the tree. Stay away from him. Right, can we get any closer? Right, he's, he's throwing stones at the swans. We have to go to him slowly. We can't anger him. Right, creep up. We have to creep up to him. We can't alarm him. If he sees us, he'll run. I know. Look, this dude is this dude is swan dance. Listen here, this is dangerous. This is dangerous swan dance. It's, it's really At this point I was nervous. Joe was doing his pre-swan attack dance, and I had no choice but to intervene. Joe! No! Joe! Fucking okay, paper! Joe! Joe, don't! Joe, not like this! Joe, don't! Get out of here! <laughs> Joe, no! The following footage has been edited out due to a complaint from the RSPCA. What followed is disturbing. Joe killed two swans and maimed a third. Sadly, a fourth swan appeared from the rear and attacked Joe. Joe was rushed to hospital with a police escort, but sadly, died from blood loss three hours later. <laughs>